Hey everyone. So just wanted to talk about uh, loading an eight by eight foot um, hot tub onto a U-Haul trailer. Uh, the trailer I picked up was a six by 12 trailer. Um, highly recommend because it's got a wide wheelbase and it's nice and stable for such a thing. Um, but I just wanted to show you uh, how I went about doing this just because there's not a lot of um, instructional videos on this. But um, the reason I loaded this hot tub up onto the rails was because I was really concerned with the fact that if I had angled it down into the uh, into the opening of the trailer, I may not be able to pull it back out. I was kind of worried about getting it wedged in there and having some trouble removing it. Uh, just because it's my stepson and myself getting this thing loaded and unloaded. Uh, another thing I wanted to show was for stability of this hot tub. Uh, just because it's on a sitting on the rails of the trailer, just wanted to make note that um, I've actually fastened two pieces of lumber below. You know just below the hot tub on each side of the rail and the reason I did this was to keep it from slipping side to side if I was to make a abrupt maneuver on the highway for whatever reason and I'm just looking at things too uh, some other things to consider I had intentions of getting some wider ratchet straps but uh, unfortunately, the store went to, uh, they only had the one inch size. So, and each ratchet strap is rated for a thousand pounds with um, 3,000 pounds braking strength. So, with the five sets of straps I got there, I'd have, well, pretty much 15,000 pounds of braking strength, which is not too bad quite excessive a lot more than what you would actually need um, I did consider possibly getting a spa dolly but I uh, figured the U-Haul probably just do the same darn thing uh, the green ratchets I have on the side they're only rated for 500 pounds and um, if you look along the trailer there's all sorts of areas where you can hook your ratchets on connect everything nice and tight uh, just so it doesn't move anywhere. Uh, the other thing to note too is if you're stopping along the side of the highway, you're going to want to uh, check your load and make sure that all these straps are nice and tight. Like they're not going to shift on you and everything's nice and snug. You know? So it's got quite a bit of snugness there, but just keeping all these levers down toward the bottom of the load. Um, it'll help you quite a bit in doing that. So yeah, um, this is just a quick short video just showing what I ended up doing to secure this load on. And uh, next steps are removing it later on. Take care. Um, I figure I'll show this on my train channel instead of making up another channel. I don't have any other channel. So um, anyways, take care and bye for now.